been these past few weeks? Still the same, but trying to be better. Okay, that's good. Can you tell me more about what happened? Last week, um, nag-away kami sa parents ko because I came home na hubog halil sa birthday party sa friend ko. Okay, then what happened after that? Nag-away kami sa father ko because ginapakamaguin na ko and my mother pinahambalan ako nga useless ako nga pala inom. Mm, so, how did you feel about it? I felt like I was taken aback in my childhood. Okay, so what's with your childhood? Can you tell me about it? When I was six years old, I went to a school. I was scared of the other kids and the teachers. When I came home, nagibi ako kaginabalan ko si nanay na hindi na po gusto magbalik sa eskwelahan. Pero gets hindi kanya ko kaginabalan niya ko nga, do bata ka. Oh, so what do you feel after your mother did that? After that, I felt horrible and even more scared. Hmm. Aside from that, may naalala ka pa sa bata ka pa? My family was visiting my grandparents. I was playing outside and some neighborhood kid hit me for no reason. Nagupisa kami away and my mother came and ginsigitan ako for being such a rough kid. Wala siya ng pati sa ginambal ko siya nga ang bata, ang mga nagupisa sa away. I felt angry and hurt that wala siya ng pati sa ako. Pagkatapos sina, what do you think is the reason why your parents are acting like that towards you? I think it's because they compared me to my siblings. I am nothing. I felt like the nat mo din himo sa kamuhi ko was all wala akong loss and that I am a hopeless case and maybe they think I should not be born in the first place. You mentioned last time that you drink too much, right? Yes, I did. Ano sa tingin mo ang rason nga maliin ka sa madamo? I also don't know. Maybe because I don't know how to stay close sa ibang nga tao. I'm so scared of socializing. Though I hate to admit it, things are not quite overwhelming kung kainom ako. What do you think is the reason why you are having a hard time in socializing? It's okay. Can you proceed now to your homework assignment, which is ang um, nag-volunteer ka sa homeless shelter? Okay. Okay. How was the volunteer activity? How did it go? Um, well, damo ako na meet na ibang na tao and I was able to get to know some of them. How are you meeting with them? Kamo sampli itong nila sa inyo? Oh well, I didn't expect na maging may sila in kind sa akon, and I didn't expect to have such feelings. Kay because this is bago sa akon. Okay, paano man na sabi that this feeling is new to you? Because my mom was never like that to me. She has never acted that way. Why? Paano ka naging natrato? How? For me, yun nakita sa ako na ang worst. Kalaanta na nung maging kaubra is mali sa paningin niya. Pero sa community service mo, malagupod ka sa iba na tao, wala mo inaiyanapil? Oo, do ibagin ang pakiramdam ko, na-feel ko nga hindi ako useless. Nga daw, bago ko lang ginin na batsyagan, nahadlo ko daan sa iba na tao, sad to makipag-engage. Kahit pamatsyag ko, ilok daw nila ako. Pero hindi ako ay naangatago. They are different from my mom. Hmm. Ano sa tingin mo ang life mo kung hindi ako nakapagtrata ni mama mo sa imo? 
How different would your life be and what you'd be doing differently right now? I think it would be totally different. I would be scared around most people. I can have a stable relationship. Upon volunteering at a home shelter, do you think you established a good relationship with people here? I don't know if I did better. All I know is they were kind to me. And I... Cut. It's okay. Then that's a good start for you. Then that's a good start for you. That's a good example that you're starting and you're learning how to be with people. You mentioned earlier that you're comfortable being with them. With that, you're already doing great. For now, it may be hard for you, but with a long practice, you can finally be around with people who don't feel anxious and uncomfortable. Finally, you can trust them again. Regarding on that, based on what you've said before, you used to think that hindi mo deserve na palang gaon nga mas mahal pang ikaw na lang isa. How about now? What did you discover about yourself about that experience? Sa totoo lang, hindi ko naisip yan. Pero as you open that situation, I was able to consider and understand my thoughts and feelings. With that, I realized that hindi ka na tao is cruel and harsh, just like how I used to perceive them. As I was listening to you, one thing I naratak ko is you kept on bringing what happened in the past. It's about your childhood experiences, and in connection with that, what can you reflect from those experiences? It's okay. You can take your time. As I was always scared when I was young. My parents treated me differently compared to my siblings. I felt that I had no match for them. They made me feel that wala ako, I am worthless. That is why I used to came up to the point that I lost the small confidence I had in myself. Whenever I am with others, I don't know kung paano ko sila i-deal. And that's because nahadlok ako. I feel, I feel insecure and I think that maybe they won't find me interesting. Just like my parents, I am always conscious of what others might perceive about me. You had a tough childhood. That's why, ano ang rason nga man, nag-move forward ka sa kabilas ang hirap na pinagdaadaanan mo? I think it was my will to change. I wanted to make a difference. I was determined to make myself better. I know that my future is in my hands and that I shouldn't depend sa ibang na tao. I told myself that no one can change me but only myself. Even though I ako, it didn't hinder me from taking risk. Also, there is someone who encouraged me and thought that I was able to start believing in myself. Mm -hmm. That's a good mindset. Ipagpatuloy mo lang yan and I know na kaya mo yan. As long as you try mo, mangin fruit po din at tanan ng efforts mo. Tanan mga efforts, magabalik it sa imo in the form of a change you. Despite the hardship and doubts, tanan mo bala kung diin ka na. Oo, layo ka pa sa pakatuan mo. Pero lantawa, layo naman ang naabutan mo. And also, you have this thought in your mind na permi na lang imo sa la, na there is something wrong with you. Upon reflecting, do you still think that way? Yes. Try to go back to your answer and contemplate them.
realize that hindi ako ang problem. It is the situation I am in. Na-realize ko na hindi ko kailangan maging perfecto para magustuhan sa iba niya tao. Na hindi ko kailangan if force ang self ko para magustuhan ko nila. I don't need to worry how people will see me. Can you finally see it? You're not worthless is how you thought you are. You can do incredible things despite facing difficulties. You see, you are capable of change. You are not changing, Stan. You know, there are a lot of amazing possibilities in life. And it's you, only you, who is capable of taking the positive steps to change your life for the better. Yes, I am happy that I can finally see it. I am happy to see how my efforts turn into a fruitful outcome. I am happy to finally see the changes I've made through my progress. I am happy to see the ako mababuna. I am glad about the improvements you've made. Remember that at any point of your life, there will always be people who will discourage you. But keep in mind that even though may tao na ma discourage you, mo, um, there will come a point na may harag ito na ma push you. mo. Kagbisa no man, you have to trust yourself. Keep on believing and never get faltered. Trust yourself. In life, people will always succeed the worst in you. Nabisa yung dapat mahihimo mo nga maayo. Sa uli, ang mga puna ginaan nila, ang malain mo ginaan mo. Life is very difficult. That's a given. Even though there's darkness, a glint of hope will eventually burst into a flame. A flame that will eternally remain in your heart. So, whatever hardships and sufferings you'll face, this eternal flame will light you up and you will never lose your sight again. You see, even a hope is small, it is still a powerful thing that will give you strength and motivation, which will eternally give us or guide you to your triumph. I felt inspired to write this poem because I know that I hope that you will keep on doing the things that make you better stand. Please keep going. Uh, thank you also. I think that's it for today. Thank you again, Miss.